Hello, and welcome to an overview of the new Metaverse Studio interface. We've had a big update, and as a result, we've added some new features and have a slightly different look. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use the new Metaverse Studio interface. To get started with the new Metaverse Studio, simply click on Get Started at the top right-hand corner or the Get Started button that's front and center. You will then be taken to the Studio Login page. You can create an account using a Facebook login or using an email address. Simply type your email, choose a username, and create a password. Then click Create Account to create an account. If you already have an account, click on Already Have an Account. Then type your username or your email and your password to log in. Once logged in, you'll be taken to your Experiences page. You can scroll down the page and see all of the experiences that you've created. You can also search for experiences that others have made by using the search toolbar on the left-hand side. Let's type in cat and see what we find. Lastly, on the left-hand side, you can view all of your favorited experiences. Click on an experience to view its contents. In the Experience Preview page, you'll notice a QR code on the right-hand side that you can scan to open up the experience. You can also edit your experience by clicking Edit, share the experience on social media using the Share button, and clone or delete an experience by clicking on the three buttons next to the Share button. You can also leave a comment on your favorite experiences by typing in the comment box below. Lastly, you can find related experiences underneath the experience preview. Let's go ahead and create a new experience. To create a new experience, simply click on the Create Experience button at the top right-hand corner. This will take you to our storyboard. The storyboard is where you'll be making your experiences. Before you start creating, don't forget to name your experience using the name box at the top. In the storyboard, you'll notice that a character scene has already been placed for you to start your experience. To select a character, click on Select Character. We now have the ability to search through the Google Poly Library to find 3D objects to use as characters. I'm going to use this little fox. Let's add some dialogue. and let's add a button by using the Add Action button. You'll notice that what you click on in your scene will change the right-hand menu. Let's go ahead and change this button to be a square button in the center, and let's change the color. Let's go ahead and add a new scene. You can add a new scene by clicking the Add New button at the top right of the storyboard. We have nine different scenes to choose from, and you can learn about these scenes by following the tutorials on our YouTube page. We also have 120 different code blocks that perform background functions within the experience. I'm going to go ahead and add a camera scene. You'll notice that there is a red dot next to your button. This means that it's not linked up. Let's go ahead and link it up by clicking on the red dot then you'll notice that the right-hand menu has changed. You can link scenes up by using transition controls. To link a scene up using transition controls, you can use the drop-down menu to select a scene, or you can click on the pointer and then click on the scene you want to transition to. Now a link has been formed and these two scenes are linked up. Another new feature in the Metaverse Studio is the ability to create your own photo frames. 
You can create a frame by clicking on the Create a Frame button. Click on a character to add the character to your photo frame. You can then drag the image around, rotate it, and resize it. You also have the ability to add as many characters as you'd like. When you're happy with your photo overlay, click Save to save it into your camera scene. A preview of the overlay will pop up on your screen. Lastly, on your final scene, click on the dot and make sure your transition control says End Experience. Now we have a fully functioning experience. Before we test this experience on our device, we can click on our initial scene to find some experience controls, including a description that will allow you to add a tag. You can also categorize your experience, access map controls, and choose where the initial scene transitions to. Lastly, you can place your experience into a group and find additional options and features at the bottom of the right-hand menu. To test your experience instantly on your device, make sure that you have the Metaverse app opened on your mobile device and then click on Test on Device. Let's see what this one looks like. Raise your phone and then turn till you can see the character. You'll also notice that you can rotate 3D objects by dragging them with your finger. Press the button at the bottom to move to the next scene. There's our photo filter we made. Let's place it at the end of our table. Now that we have successfully tested our experience in the Metaverse mobile app, let's go back to our experience preview and make a copy of this experience. To make a copy of an experience, simply click on the three dots next to share and then click clone experience. You'll notice that a copy has been made with copy in parentheses to indicate that this is the copy. You can also make copies of experiences made by other users to remix them in your own way. This has been an overview of the new Metaverse Studio interface. Let us know what you think by leaving a comment in the comment section below. You can also find several other great tutorials on other Metaverse features by clicking on the Metaverse Tutorials playlist.